Tuscany Wood Fire Grill, located at the intersection of State Hill and Van Reed Roads, offers contemporary cuisine with a Tuscan flair. They feature dishes, both flavorful and affordable, as well as a warm Italian ambiance to set the mood for a romantic dinner or fun night with friends. Seating at Tuscany takes place in both the cafe area, lined with scenes from the streets of Italy, as well as where we had our lunch, the spacious, inviting, and naturally lit solarium. We took a look at the specials and decided to take advantage of the mix and match Tuscany Bites $10 Tapas Trio. One, two, three, bread, and here we go. We also had the $29.99 Four Course Tuscany for two, which included salads, a pizza appetizer, two entrees, and desserts. Well, we've talked about the atmosphere, we've talked about the great service. One thing that we haven't talked about is my favorite part of every restaurant, and that's the food. Here at Tuscany, it is excellent. We today had here the Tuscany Bites, which are miniature versions of all the full-size appetizers. What we had were the Lifeguard Calamari Rings, the grilled bruschetta, and then we also had the crispy ricotta ravioli. The calamari, going to into a local restaurant, you might expect it to be subpar and rubbery, not here. Tender calamari in great marinara and garlic sauce, absolutely excellent. Moving down on our appetizer tower, we had the crispy ricotta ravioli, and that was served with lemon aioli as well as spicy marinara sauce. That was excellent to dip in both, myself and the crew enjoyed it. And then finally, we had an Italian classic, the grilled bruschetta. Now moving on to the salads that we had, uh, just to get the house salad is a treat. It is a uh, lettuce mix, and then on top of that, they have some fresh vegetables, as well as cheese, and some. And my favorite part of the salad was the potato sticks, and it all comes to the house creamy balsamic dressing. So that was absolutely excellent. That was enjoyed by everyone. Right after we had the salads, we uh, they also brought out the flatbread pizzas, which is uh, one of the things Tuscany is known for is their uh, great brick oven pizzas. We had the steak and gorgonzola flatbread. We also had the chicken parmesan flatbread, which was great. Then going on to the final flatbread we had, we had the sausage rustica, rustica vegetables under the sausage pieces, also excellent. Three totally different flatbread pizzas made fresh in the brick oven, fresh ingredients. And then moving along to the dinner entrees, we got two chicken entrees. The uh, chicken margarita, which had uh, lemon capers, red peppers, basil, uh, over uh, fettuccine noodles, and two just pieces of chicken drenched in cheese. And I can't even tell you, it was just juicy, tender chicken, and the cheese just made it oh, all the better. Then going on to the Parmesan encrusted chicken. That was great. The whole chicken was covered in all the different types of cheese and that was also over uh, fettuccine noodles and an, an Alfredo style sauce, which was also very good. Finally, we moved on to dessert. We had both the dark hazelnut chocolate creme brulee, uh, which kind of reminded me of the Nutella last week. And then we also had the mini cheesecake. We got the Kahlua caramel cheesecake uh, chocolate sauce on the side. And you know, I've never, I've never really had a caramel cheesecake. It's always been the classic. I'm kind of a plain vanilla kind of guy. But uh, branching out of Tuscany, I don't regret it. It's great. So there you have it. Contemporary cuisine with a Tuscan flair. From affordable specials, to an expansive menu, to towering Tuscany bites, to brick oven flatbread pizzas, to $29.99 Tuscany for two.
Tuscany Wood Fire Grill. Give them a try today. I'm CJ Covell, and this has been Restaurant in Review. Hello everyone, I'm Bryn Berenshausen and this is VTN bringing you the latest in technology. Mark your calendars and get those credit cards ready. Apple has finally given us an official date for the iPad. Just April 3rd, just a, a few days after the 60 day uh, mark at the keynote, Apple is now accepting pre-orders on the uh, Apple Store website. You can either pre-order your iPad for delivery on April 3rd right to your door or reserve one for pickup in the Apple Store if you prefer to pick it up there and get some one-on-one -on -one help and check out the new accessories. Along with the iPad, the accessories like the case and the dock and the keyboard dock are available for pre-order now. iPhone OS 4.0 is just around the corner and with it we can see multitasking. That's right, finally, multitasking for third-party apps on the iPhone could be coming in iPhone OS 4.0. Apple is supposed to be working on a really great new multitasking manager for the phone that uses the same core uh, multitasking manager as Mac OS X. So right now, the only apps that can do multitasking are the iPod app or Mail app, basically the apps that came from Apple originally on the phone. Third-party apps could be seen multitasking though in 4.0. And if you want some cool accessories to go along with your iPad or new iPhone or any other listening device for that matter, check out the Heartbeats by Lady Gaga and Monster. These flashy new headphones are really cool looking. Uh, they might not sound the greatest and they will. some people will have problems keeping them in their ears, but they definitely look really cool. Probably won't see me wearing them, but they will definitely turn heads as we walk by. That's all we've got for VTN. I'm Bryn Berenshausen. We'll catch you later. Uh, uh, I didn't, didn't even see, see you there. Will we right act after these messages? Commercial breaks. Children. Short. <laughs> One of the things that um, it makes me very proud to be the principal of Wilson High School is the students that I get to come in contact with every day. The character that they display and represent themselves, their school, and their community is second to none. It, it is an exciting place to be because of the diversity that we embrace in the school, which makes a rich culture experience and a lot of diversity for all of our students. You don't just help kids dream, but as a counselor, you got to help children, students, young adults actualize the dream. We meet with students regularly, we go over their academics, we talk about what their strengths are, their weaknesses, um, and help students find that piece that makes them want to go into a particular career or moves them forward in that career. Well, one of the reasons I've really enjoyed working at Wilson is that we integrate the disciplines in a number of courses. So ideally we hope that our students at Wilson are making as many connections as possible. Uh, throughout the courses they take in the curriculum. Technology education provides students with opportunities beyond the classroom. We have a number of events, competitive activities, and clubs that students can get involved with. They have an opportunity to refine their skills and work on improving those skills, develop a work ethic, and actually apply those to real-world situations. Students in the school have appreciated the art program, they've respected the art teachers, and they've also respected one another's work. and. It really adds a lot of uh, culture to the school district, to the high school. We have a very, very high success rate uh, with our athletes and participants in extracurricular activities, uh, both in what they're doing in the classroom as well as the colleges that they're able to get into. Wilson is traditional. Community, dedicated, diverse, fundamental, family-oriented, highly competitive, loving, passionate, welcoming, unique, united. That's how we judge ourselves as by our students' success.